tributes and remembrances continuing tonight at the second day of wakes for the murdered New York cop Jonathan Diller, a young police officer with a young family hailed as a hero, shot and killed after he stopped a car in Queens earlier this week. Diller's funeral set for tomorrow. At the wake today, New York Governor Hochul, among other people. Long Island reporter Shantae Lands at the wake for us in Massapequa Park. Shantae. Oh, Bill, it was another day of grief, another day of thousands of people showing up right here at this Massapequa funeral home to honor a hero cop. A sea of blue, a long line standing somber for a second day, this time with sunshine. Yesterday in the pouring rain, thousands patiently waiting, pushing through their grief outside of Massapequa funeral home to bid goodbye to one of their own fallen NYPD officer Jonathan Diller. There's nothing harder than losing one of our own. And there's nothing harder than seeing a family at the hospital in this wake devastated. Retired NYPD officer John Drum returning for a second day, hoping to make it inside. I was here yesterday, waited online. It was at least a half mile long down the road. Today, emotional, tearful hugs among nurses, co-workers of Diller's wife, rallying support around her and Diller's nine-month-old baby boy. It's very, very heartbreaking what happened. Mother and daughter Angela and Teresa Cimarella say Officer Diller grew up next door to them in Franklin Square. I remember when his mom had him, it was very, very sad. There's no, no words. Um, it's very upsetting. The 31-year-old was a cop for just three years before he was viciously shot and killed Monday afternoon during a traffic stop. Police say by this man, 34-year-old Guy Rivera of Queens. The repeat offending ex-con was charged with murder of a police officer, attempted murder, and criminal possession of a weapon. Today, Governor Kathy Hochul met briefly with Officer Diller's family. Long Island Republican Congressman Anthony D'Esposito and Andrew Garbarino also meeting with the family, leaving this message for the Democratic governor. The governor should be focusing on fixing the issue uh, of cashless bail in Albany. The budget was just kicked to next week. She's got a lot of power. She could fix this. Congressman D'Esposito, a former cop himself, brought to tears when I asked him about burying his own brother in blue. I, uh, I don't think you really ever heal. You know, this is a terrible tragedy. You have uh, a one-year-old that is never going to have a father again because we continue to allow uh, lifelong criminals on the street. And the alleged shooter, Guy Rivera, has 21 prior arrests. And just like yesterday, the wake held here was from 2 to 4 p.m. It'll pick back up again from 7 to 9. Officer Jonathan Diller will be laid to rest tomorrow.